The Boeing X-50A Dragonfly, formerly known as the Canard Rotor, Wing Demonstrator, was a VTOL rotor wing experimental unmanned aerial vehicle that was developed by Boeing and DARPA to demonstrate the principle that a helicopter's rotor could be stopped in flight and act as a fixed wing, enabling it to transition between fixed wing and rotary wing flight. McDonnell Douglas Helicopter created the canard rotor wing design in response to a Navy demand for an unmanned, high-speed, ship-based vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, CRW. The CRW is a stoppable rotor design that can hover and fly at low speeds like a typical helicopter, but can also fly at high speeds akin to fixed-wing aircraft in its stop rotor mode. The remotely piloted medium-range vertical takeoff and landing vehicle located on land or ship is one of the first designs. An operational CRW UAV would be able to take off and land in tight places without the use of a launch or recovery mechanism, transition quickly to and from fixed wing mode, and fly at speeds up to 375 knots. A typical turbofan engine propels the CRW in both rotary wing and fixed wing configurations. During transition, a diverter valve sends the engine's exhaust flow either to the rotor or aft to the jet thrust nozzle, or both. The lift necessary for hover and low-speed forward flight is generated by a two-bladed wobbling rotor. To take off like a helicopter, the CRW would spin a central wing. The vehicle would next speed to roughly 120 miles per hour, at which point the front and rear wings would release flaps. The requisite lift production is transferred from the rotor to a canard in horizontal tail after the rotorcraft has reached a suitable forward velocity. Flap deployment would take the weight off the spinning center wing, allowing it to stop spinning and be secured into a position across the fuselage to act as a third wing. In a fixed wing flight mode, the flaps on the other two wings would be retracted, and all three wings would share the lift loads. The CRW would revert to its rotary wing, VTOL mode for landing on small landing areas if these events were reversed. The X-50A built upon the work of the Sikorsky S-72X wing program of the 1980s by designing the vehicle as a multi-mode aircraft from the ground up. The X-50A was one of two projects funded by DARPA in its Heliplane program. Neither of the two prototype aircraft ever successfully transitioned to full forward flight. DARPA withdrew funding for the X-50 program in late 2006 due to inherent design flaws. Boeing initially proposed using the CRW configuration to fill a requirement for a VTOL aircraft suitable for escorting the V-22 tiltrotor. The X-50A was a joint program between Boeing and DARPA, with each paying for half the development costs. The X-50A was powered by a single conventional turbofan engine. For rotary wing mode, the engine's exhaust was diverted to nozzles in the tips of the rotor blades. When the aircraft transitioned to full forward flight, the engine exhaust was directed through a nozzle at the rear of the aircraft and the rotor was locked into a fixed position and functioned as a conventional wing. Two proof-of-concept aircraft were built as part of the program. The X-50A's maiden flight took place on 24 November 2003. The X-50 had a canard, foreplane as well as a conventional tailplane, allowing both to contribute lift during forward flight and to offload the main rotor wing. For vertical takeoff, hovering, low-speed flight, and vertical landing, the main rotor wing was driven by tip jets, by directing the exhaust from a jet engine through thrust nozzles in the rotor tips. Because the rotor is driven directly by jet thrust, there is no need for a tail rotor to control torque as in a conventional helicopter. For high-speed forward flight, the exhaust is redirected through an ordinary jet nozzle and the rotor wing is stopped and held in a fixed position, as in a conventional airplane. During the third flight of the prototype X-50A, on 23 March 2004, the vehicle crashed, as a result of cross-coupling in the controls. On its 6th of 11 planned test flights, Ship 2 was completely destroyed in a crash at the Yuma Proving Grounds on April 12, 2006. Subsequent investigation revealed that the aircraft's fuselage was subject to an aerodynamic pitching moment of extreme sensitivity. Both airspeed and rotor wake would produce a nose-up pitching motion that was greater than the flight controls could compensate for. Neither aircraft was able to achieve transition to full forward flight mode during the portions of the test flight program that were completed. In September, 2006, DARPA recognized the inherent design flaws and withdrew funding for the program.